my name is Barbara Purastrini and welcome to Kitchen I Not One Today we are going to make like a salad, but I'm going to teach you how to make beautiful salad. And now I'm going to show you the ingredients. Smoked salmon, cherry tomato, lime, green onions, radish, avocado, and as the stickers are ready and ripe to eat and you know that the, uh, the avocado is ready uh, when yields to firm a gentle pressure you know that you can use it and also the avocado is uh, organic cucumbers two sauce and the one is bazar di meglio and the other is sriracha and we will use as a dressing and uh, decoration sour cream and alaska salmon caviar I cut the avocado in half and because it's perfect ripe I can peel it by hand and if it was too soft it was not possible. Using a sharp knife make thin slices across the avocado repeating down the entire fruit from end to end. Each slice should be 2 or 3 millimeters and otherwise it's going to be tricky. Consistent cut and thickness will give you more visually appealing results. Now that our avocado is sliced, uh, we gently fan out the slices and uh, we start to carve the slices from uh, one end towards the center and we are going to create the shape that we need. Um, right now I need just a half circle and, uh, and then with the, uh, with the knife I'm going to place uh, our avocado in, uh, in a plate. Time for our smoked salmon roses and uh, what we need uh, right now is uh, one slice of smoked salmon and uh, we are going to cut the slice in half and then we are going to make a stripe and then we start to roll until we are going to have uh, like a small little pretty rose. And we, at this point, you can put so many roses as much as you prefer. So now it's time for our cucumbers. We cut off the ends and using a vegetable peeler, uh, shave off uh, four long stripes of uh, the cucumber. And uh, in all honesty, I really don't know why striped squash are considered more elegant, but hey, let's go for it. Then we take our fork and uh, we use uh, to score the cucumber lengthwise all around, cutting through the part with no skin. And then we use our mandolin to make a uh, uh, very thin uh, slice. We don't need that many. So now it's time to place our slice uh, in front of uh, the uh, salmon and uh, or as I said before, you can put as much as you want, but that's enough for me. We are going to trim the ends of our radish and we will use uh, the mandolin and we will make few slices that we are going to need for our salad. Uh, once they are ready, we are going to place it in our plate and uh, right now you can be more creative and put the slice wherever you want. For me, uh, simplicity is the best way to go and I will put it just in front of the cucumber slice. Now it's time to cut in a half our cherry tomato and uh, I will place it close to the avocado slice. Now it's time to give uh, some freshness to our beautiful salad and I will chop some uh, green onions, just a few teeny tiny slices and I will sprinkle on top. For the final decoration I'm going to do some dots with the sriracha sauce. Same thing with the basabi sauce, few dots and you are done! Lime is the final touch and uh, I will finish uh, uh, adding some uh, uh, caviar, salmon uh, eggs and uh, I will put on top, that's it. Creme fraiche is always a good idea. I 
hope you enjoy my beautiful salad and uh, if you like what I do please subscribe and you won't be disappointed and uh, you can ask me in the comments below whatever you want and I'm going to make it and thank you so much and I'll see you next time ciao ciao